Hi everyone! We are crossing the Rainbow Bridge. Sorry if it's windy. And we're heading into Niagara Falls, New York. I have not been over there in a few years. Walking around anyways, just to see the sights. So we're gonna do that today. It's going to be fun. You can see there's quite the lineup here getting across. Lots of people going across today. There's a nice view right here. The American Falls, the Horseshoe Falls. You can see all the boats heading out. And then later on when I come back, I'll let you know how my experience was crossing the border. Hopefully it won't be too difficult. So we'll see you on the other side. Okay, so I just finished crossing into the United States and I went into um, immigration and there wasn't really any issues at all. It's very quick and easy. I just had to show them my passport and they take a picture of you and then you head on your way. We'll see what it's like going back across to Canada later. The Maid of the Mist and to Prospect Point. Visitor Center and it tells you all the different things where to go. And that's where we just came from, where you can see that couple. All right, let's go exploring. Let's see, oh, maybe we'll start down here. Let's start down here, okay? I think we'll start over here, where somebody told me that is the old Rainbow Center Mall. And then we'll just walk down that way a little bit and then we'll make our way towards the falls and then let's just see what's around. Let's see what's happening. I have, <laughs> this is new territory for me. So I haven't been over walking around in a, a long time. So it's gonna be fun. Something interesting to experience. I hope you guys will enjoy coming along with me. Somebody is having a major argument right now with the parking lot guy. Oh dear. <laughs> oh wow, it looks like there's all these food trucks here. Let's go see. And up here at the stop sign says Niagara Street and we're gonna be walking on Prospect Street. And it looks like where I am there's, I can see way back there, there's a parking lot if you're looking for parking. Looks like there's lots of parking around. And you can rent one of these bikes. Let's just out of curiosity, how much is it to rent a bike? Let's see if it says. Oh, you can get a three day pass for, oh, two day pass for $3 right there. And it tells you the different passes you can get pretty good. Ready, set, ride. Get the app and start riding. Oh, nice. So I need, there's a photo booth right here. Sorry if it's still windy. I love New York. <laughs> photo booth. Find what you love in New York State. I love New York.com. Oh, that would be nice your photos here and make some nice memories. So it looks like they have some nice food here. Maybe we'll have to stop and get something after. And there's all your prices. $14.99 for vegetable plate and chicken curry. $15.99. Tandoori chicken $17.99. 
and that's in US dollars, of course. But it looks really good. Then there's Chinese food here at Chinatown. Looks like they're just getting things ready for the day. They're not open quite yet. And they have similar pricing, like the next food truck beside them. This place is not open either. Looks like they have all types of wraps and fries and mm, sounds good. You can get like a Philly cheesesteak sub. Oh, sounds like he's doing some drilling. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Unless he forgot his key. Then you've got a hot dog stand. Oh, and there's a information booth here and you can buy tickets for Made in the Mist, an info for the observation deck and Cave of the Winds. If you ever want to find out anything, you go right here. Nice. Hello. And then there's a Hard Rock Cafe right here. And then I can see back there, this looks like the Hyatt Hotel. Hyatt place. Oh, there's lots of little little souvenir shops here too. Nice. Two for twenty-five or thirteen ninety-nine each. Hmm. Well, we might as well take a little wander up here, right? Lots of signs up there about souvenirs and gifts, shopping, international food court. You need some sunglasses. Oh wow, they have really nice dream catchers in here too. T-shirts, three for 28. That's a good deal. Look at all the nice t-shirts. Very nice. For $9.95 each. I like that price. I like this one right here. Niagara Falls, New York. We even have backpacks if you're looking for one. A little bit of everything. And that's just another t-shirt stand right there. $25 to park right here. All day parking. Oh, look at, there's the U.S. and Canadian flag right there. That's nice. Let's see what this says. Niagara Center. Grand opening of Vortex. VR Arcade. Oh, I'm sure the kids would enjoy that. Oh, let's just go take a quick look. You can see there's a nice mural right here. The gateway to the falls. While our escalator is being renovated, the lobby staircase and elevators all remain open to the public. So we just made our way from back there where all those little shops were and I noticed there's some things down here on Rainbow is it Avenue or Street Rainbow Road right? I think so Rainbow Boulevard <laughs> Rainbow Boulevard okay so and there's a restaurant right here, an Indian restaurant, Niagara Tandoori Hut. And then you can see way across the street is where there's helicopter tours from the United States side. So that's where you would go if you want a tour around the falls. Oh, and there's some really neat things. We'll take a walk down here. I just noticed there's a small version of the Statue of Liberty right here. So we're gonna go see that. I've never actually seen the real one in my life. So I thought, oh wow, that's cool. It's, at least it's a mini version of that. 
And there's the plaque here. And it says, with the faith and courage of their forefathers who made it possible who made possible the freedom of these United States, the Boy Scouts of America. Nice. It says they dedicate this copy of the Statue of Liberty as a pledge of everlasting fidelity and loyalty. And just by looking at that helicopter place, it almost looks like I'm thinking that helicopter park there is where you would climb up and take the ride. So that's kind of interesting. Okay, here we go. And they've got a hamburger place here, the Misty Dog Grill. That's a really neat place. And let's see what their prices are. Oh, okay, their prices are a lot more reasonable. You're a little further away from the falls. And you've got a classic burger is $6.90. And cheeseburger is $7.90. And then they've got your chicken wings. You get 10 for $14.99. And then you can choose whatever sauce you like. Sweet potato fries, $4.99. Sounds yummy. Looks like a nice place. I would eat here. Maybe I'll stop here after. We'll see. And then we're just going to make our way back down to the um, down Rainbow Boulevard and then head towards the falls. And there's an interesting looking buffalo. What does it say about the buffalo? something in there but I probably be a little too difficult to read that oh and they've got little ice cream cones on top of these poles I just noticed it's pretty funny it's cute and there's the Wyndham Garden Hotel and I can see in the distance there the Seneca Casino I like this ice cream place right here. It's a giant ice cream cone. Who wouldn't want to eat by a giant ice cream cone? I think that's fun. Welcome to the twist of the mist. The small is $4.50. There, you can see the prices there. Medium is $5 and a large $5.50. That's very reasonable. And then you can get sodas and floats. Yummy. Look at this cute place. It's nice and there's a little fountain back here. It's pretty. Another Indian restaurant back there behind it. And uh, we're not gonna walk that far that way. There's a good view of the Seneca Casino. Looks like there's more hotels along that street there. There's a Sheridan I see from here. I just wanted to show you, there's the sign for the Rainbow Bridge for Canada only to go to the Canadian side. I think this is a parking garage right here. That's what it looks like. So there's probably lots of parking in there. I don't know how much. It is. Okay, so like I told you, I have not been here in a really long time walking around. So it's kind of a, we're finding our way around. <laughs> That's what we're doing. And that's the street we were on right there with all the, the nice little souvenir shops. Thinking we can find our way this way too. Where's that person beeping? Oh, look at, you can see the Skyline Tower from here. There goes the yellow bug elevator. There it goes. 
mask on. <laughs> I had to put that in there somewhere. I don't know if I mentioned it's a little bit, I think I told you it's a bit of a windy day here. So I'll find out how this video will be after. Hoping it turns out okay. And I want it to be nice for you guys because I was really excited to come here today. Something I've been planning for quite a while. And they have parking along the street here too. Well, there's a restaurant I just noticed. <clears throat> Cantina Falls. Looks like they have tacos and burritos. Burritos this way. Old Falls Street. Oh, we'll be going down there for sure see what's over here as we look around. Oh, looks like there's things that way. Should we take a little stroll this way? I guess so. So now we're on Old Falls Street. Let's go see. This looks like a fancy restaurant. Saber Restaurant. Saver Restaurant and Lounge. The winery at Margin Manor. There's a cafe here. Oh, there's that interesting building there. I, I could always see it from the Canadian side. We'll have to go and investigate that. La Patisserie, La Patisserie Pastry Cafe. I hope I said that right. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know if I said it okay or not. Oh, look at this cute mural with the hearts. Oh, they even have things you can play here. Ping pong. With no balls and then a little air hockey game you can play oh look at this nice archway too old fall street usa really unique archway looks like art to me let's walk down here we're on First Street and Old Falls Street. So we're gonna turn on to, it's like there's a nice church right there. I think that might be a church. Yep, First Presbyterian Church. And then we'll go check out this hotel. Looks really nice. It's got quite the carvings up the top of it. We'll have a look at that. Papa John's Pizza. Oh, I've had that before. So if you're looking for pizza, if you're visiting over here, there's a nice big restaurant with outdoor patio too. Very nice. Oh wow, I can see some really nice, nice church over there too. The Giacomo Hotel and Residences. You can see all the carvings up here on the building. Wow. <laughs> it's quite beautiful. Look at all the neat. Look at all 
almost reminds me of like Aztec carvings. And then it says 222 in writing. Beautiful. I wonder what it looks like in there. Oh, it's a nice building though. right here we're at the corner and there's a hotel right here hotel niagara it's quite the old hotel too it has some really nice lions heads on the wall and then you can see they almost look like they're a drain so the water doing some restoring on it. Beautiful. Then we're at some roundabout right here. And there's some piece of art right in the middle. And then I can see they're doing some building down there. We're not going to go all the way down there today though. And then there's Niagara Falls U.S. Official Visitor Center. That's probably handy for some people. Oh my god, it's getting so windy here. I was really debating whether or not to come over today because of the wind, but I figured I'm just going to come and do it. As I said, it's supposed to die down, so I'm really hoping that's going to happen. There's a nice little food truck right there. Okay, and then I'm thinking, should we walk down here? Let's walk down here. I want to show you the top of that hotel, all the beautiful carvings and, that are on it. Really nice details. What style of building would you say that is? Because I am not familiar with different styles when it comes to architecture. If I see it and I like it, that's I, I like it. So I'm just wondering if anybody knows. A dome-shaped building here. I wonder what that is. Souvenir shop across the street. Okay, if anybody knows what this dome-shaped building is, right here let me know looks like they have a souvenir shop here in this building for some really really good deals $2.99 for a t-shirt I noticed this place here looks really oh it's a haunted house Ooh. Horrific animation. Ha haunted House of Wax. Ghastly Heroes. And then there's another food truck across the street there. There's lots of food trucks around. I kind of like that. You don't really see a lot of that on the Canadian side, but they do have um, the one night a week now where they have food trucks at the Fallsview Casino, which is nice. Okay, we're gonna walk down here. We're now on Old Fall Street again. There's a nice little mural here someone painted at this haunted house. <laughs> it's up there. There's a guy in a... He's a skeleton. <laughs> skeleton pirate up at the top. food truck here. Indian street food. There's lots of patios on this street too, which is nice. And there's an ATM out there if you need to use an ATM machine. 
What's this place? McAnally's Cafe and Bake Shop. Oh, it sounds like this place has been here quite a long time. souvenir gallery. I can already see they have postcards in there and things like that. This is the Comfort Inn Hotel. Part of it anyways. Tells you what they have on this street, Old Fall Street, USA. All types of food places. Nice. And then there's Niagara Falls State Park. Well, we're gonna go over there, I think. Let's go. Oh, this cute little ice cream stand there. Oh. Well, we'll come back. We'll come back this way. Maybe we'll end the walk back over here. Let's see. What is this big thing here? The ice boom. On display is a 30 foot long section of the ice boom. Each winter the ice boom is installed to minimize ice flow. Oh wow, at the Niagara River. That's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, okay. See, there's the Hard Rock Cafe. And welcome to Niagara Falls State Park. Niagara Reservation, dedicated July 15th, 1885. Let's go see what's in here. Oh, it looks really nice in here. Aquarium of Niagara. <laughs> Oh, and it tells you which way to go. Visitor center, here's a sign right here. American Rapids, pedestrian bridge to Goat Island. Let's go that way. Let's go see that. There's a big statue here. 8th New York Heavy Artillery, Colonel Peter A. Porter. And there's a bunch of different names on this about who lost their lives. All the different soldiers. Yeah, it's a nice war memorial, like the man just said. <laughs> Died for their country. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, I can see. Oh, there's a trolley. Oh, I like that. A trolley that goes around. Takes you sightseeing. Oh, I see the rapids already. It's going to be nice. I don't think I've ever seen it up close. Always in a distance from the Canadian side. Like they're building something here. Some type of construction going on. People are waiting for the next trolley here, I think. Yep. That's the wait for that. Bit of a lineup. Oh, here we go. Oh, there's a bridge. Let's walk that way. We'll go see the bridge first. Oh no, somebody lost their sunglasses. Put them here. Hopefully someone sees them. Oh, it's 
beautiful here. I am enjoying myself so far. It's very nice. I don't remember much of this when I came walking here. Um, I do remember years ago, uh, I was pretty young, but they used to have a festival of lights on this side of the falls and it was really nice it was it was like very popular more popular so than the Canadian side but that has changed a lot now a cute doggy so pedestrian bridge to goat island all right let's cave of the winds Terrapin Point, Luna Island, Three Sisters Islands, parking lots. Wow, look at it. Woo! You can see there's the edge right there. There's the falls right at the edge. Wow. powerful doesn't it oh my goodness very fast rushing waters no tubing in there <laughs> no tubing so now we're heading to goat island I think we're just gonna go a little ways in there, not too far. It's a bit windy here. So it's quite interesting right here where you see all the hotels on the Canadian side. And then you can see the sky wheel. Sorry about the wind, but it almost seems like it's just over there where we're heading. We wouldn't think that there's a river between it. Kind of funny if you think about it. Oh, I just noticed there's some man. There's a man blowing gigantic bubbles. I'd like to see one of those. Oh, there he goes. Oh, how nice. Let's see if I can get him on there. There it goes. That's a good one. Oh, it popped. It looked really nice. You gotta know what you're doing to get that big bubble going. Wow. Awesome. It's like no wind here. Yay. So now you know which way to go. If you want to go to Cave of the Winds, this is the way you head there to go on Goat Island. Puppy. Another bridge we're going to cross now. Wow, more rapids right here. Feel the mist. Lots of diff driftwood logs everywhere floating, sitting there. See, let's just look around this bend right here. See what that leads to. A 
since my battery level. Still doing okay, I think. Yeah, more attractions. Well, you know what? We'll go see. Let's go. <laughs> have to go see it. We're here, right? We're not gonna come every day. We'll see how long this walk will be. And if it ends up being really long while I'm here, then I'll make it into a two-parter. Welcome to Goat Island. Probably just get a view of the rapids over there. Well, there's definitely a lot of walking here, but you can drive here, I see. There's people driving in. Cave of the Winds. And then you can get to the American Falls here and Bridal Veil Falls. Let's go that way. Let's go see the falls. Let's go. And Horseshoe Falls is this way. We know what that one looks like. <laughs> I just saw the sign it says 0.15 miles to the American Falls from here. It's not too bad. Not too far at all. Oh yeah, there's more of the water there, the rapids from the river. It's very shallow right there. It's not deep at all. Beautiful walkway here. Very nice. Ooh, it's really powerful right here. outlook right here. Now it's 0 0.10 miles. Well, I can see there's a bridge crossing over. Hopefully it's not too bad with the wind over there. peeking through. So if you go up there, it's Cave of the Winds. It says there's a cafe there. Oh, okay. Here we're coming up by the, the lookout for the falls. I think this is the Bridal Veil Falls right here. Oh, wow. You can see the nice view of the Maze of Mist down there. Here it says Niagara Falls State Park, American Falls, Luna Island, Bride of Veil Falls, Crestline, 1100 feet, height 176 feet. Summer daytime flow is 75,000 gallons per second. Wow. See all the mist. Wow. Yikes. <laughs> Very misty. 
don't think I'll go right in there. I don't want to get my camera lens all wet. Beautiful from here. Look, you can see that old electric company down below on the Canadian side. It's a rare sight to see. Yeah, I'm getting soaked. So we're on the left side of the waterfall as it <clears throat> heads over. And you can see down there, that's where you'd get a better view of the fall. It's just way too wet down there. <laughs> way, way, way too wet. You can see the observation deck there. We'll go there too and see how it is. So we're gonna make our way back now over the bridge again and go towards the other side of the falls. Have a look down there over there. Well, I figured since we're here, we're going to see a little bit more things. We're going to go where near Cave of the Winds before we head back over to the other side. There's lots of stair climbing here. I wonder if there's a different route you can get to here without taking the stairs. Oh, I see a pathway down there. That probably goes back. Oh wow, there's a big patio here. Cave of the Winds. Let's go that way. Oh, there's a statue. Let's go see who the statue is of oh it's Nikola Tesla so you know who that is from my last video I did inventor of alternating current induction motor that's a massive statue of him nice one Oh, let's get a nice view of the Rainbow Bridge here. So that's where I, end. I came from, all the way down there. I'm going to be going back across. It's a nice view of the falls. So they say that there's negative ions where the waterfall is and it gives you, it changes your mood. Like it gives you positive energy. It makes you feel like happy. And it also really purifies the air. So it's really interesting to read that. Maybe a lot of you know that already. It's lots of ice cream ice cream booths here and gift shops. <laughs> We're just gonna see if we can get a nice close-up of the Bridal Veil Falls. Or not the Bridal Veil Falls. <laughs> We're gonna go see the Horseshoe Falls. See how that is from this side. Lots of places to sit over here. Take a break from all the walking. There's washrooms here. Hear all the helicopters flying around. It's 
too bad this is all blocked by trees. You can't get a good view. Well, in some spots you can. Let's go take a quick peek. What do we see at this point right here? You can see, obviously, the Skyline Tower. Look, I'm touching the top of it. <laughs> and then you've got Queen Victoria Place restaurant across. And then that same electrical building down below. Oh, there goes the trolley. Top of the Falls restaurant. I wonder how pricey that is to eat there. fixing something. Wow, now here's a view. Oh my goodness, it looks so weird looking at it from this side. There's the Horseshoe Falls. Oh, and you can see down there the people at the tunnel. There it is. There's the tunnel down there. So if you imagine if you're in the tunnel and then you have to walk all the way, all the way, and all the way, all the way to over there. It's quite the walk. You don't think about that though when you're in it. Oh, it's pretty nice over here. It's a nice view of it too. I mean, you don't get the full effect like you would from the other side, but that's okay. All right. Well, we're gonna head back and try to get a look at the American Falls. Let's get a bit of a close up from here. restaurant I mentioned before, Top of the Falls restaurant. Trying to think of, let's see if I can get a few pictures here. I'm thinking this is where you can buy tickets for Cave of the Wind and things like that maybe. Yeah, information booth there too. Oh wow, look at this nice archway. It looks very similar to the same symbol that's on the power station building on the Canadian side. I wonder if it's the same builders. Oh, there's Cave of the Winds. Tickets, so I don't know what that place would be then back there for tickets. $19 for an adult, $16 for children, under six is free. The trolley's $3, that's a good deal. 20 after one. We're gonna head back to the big lineup. Line up. Well, it's a nice warm day to do that. Get refreshed. So 
says she falls that way. I think we better go that way. I don't want to end up getting lost. I'm getting very thirsty though. I need to find a drink somewhere. making our way back across the bridge now from Goat Island and I'm going to stop and get myself a drink. So see you over on the other side by the falls, okay? Oh my goodness. There's this poor woman who doesn't like crossing the bridge. She's having a hard time. But it's kind of funny at the same time. And her friends are they're all bugging her and laughing. At least we're having fun. You gotta have fun sometimes. So, we're back from Goat Island and now we're heading to go towards the American Falls and Take a look around here before we get there and see what kind of things we see along the way. There's that cute little ice cream place. Bryce's ice cream. I'm debating have an ice cream because I'm getting so parched and I tried to stop at that drink stand and they took credit cards only and of course I don't have my credit card. I didn't come prepared for that. I came with lots of American money. Maybe this takes American money. Let's see. It's five dollars for an ice cream. You can see soft serve ice cream. It looks pretty yummy. I'm glad I got the ice cream. It's going fast. Gotta enjoy it. If you don't mind if we sit for a little bit. There's little booths all around here where you can buy things. We just walked down this street earlier. So I got myself this chocolate vanilla twist. And then I got a Diet Pepsi to put in my bag for later. And it was $7 for both. Not too, too bad. Let's move down somewhere else for a little bit. So, this is what's left. I'm quite enjoying it. And we're going to head back into the park now to go to the falls. And I think that's where we will end the walk for today. I had a good time here. I hope you guys did too. I'm glad it came today despite the wind. Um, it's not as hot, which is great. And we saw some nice things today. Really cool buildings. All the different little food trucks and souvenir places. I'm enjoying it very much so far. I wonder what they're doing over here. Let's go find out. New York State of Opportunity, Parks, Recreation, and Historic Preservation, Construction of the Welcome Center. Oh, wow, okay. It's 
going to be 28,000 square feet of an, a museum, new ticketing, dining, restroom, concession spaces, green roof and solar array, accessible pathways and ramps. Wow, it's going to be exciting. Something new. Looks pretty nice. Twenty twenty three. It's not too far away. Look at your cute shoes. One, two, three. How cute. I like those shoes. And I have to go the other way. I'm not going the right way. Says pedestrian bridge that way to Goat Island. We don't want to go there. We already saw all that. What about around this way? I just noticed there's a write up about Frederick Law Olmsted. Remember the man that designed Central Park in New York? There's a write-up about him. And then I mentioned to some people that he also designed Montebello Park that's in the city where I live, in St. Catharines. So it says... <clears throat> it says, Olmsted understood the powerful connection between thoughtful landscape design and solutions to pressing societal problems. In his perceptions, democratic spaces, healthful connections to nature, and sustainable landscapes remain vital in addressing the similar challenges that we face today. Wow. And it says, in the face of a pandemic, Olmsted's parks and places have proved more important than ever, and his visionary designs have endured because of generations of dedicated stewardship. Very nice. There's a whole write-up about him and then the different parks. All types of things about what he did, what he designed. Jackson Park. Many, many different things that he did. All right, we're gonna go this way, see if we can get to the fall. Falls. That's where we want to go. How did I miss that? Hmm. I probably have to go right, that's why. Sometime I'll come back in the future just to take a trolley ride around. See what that's like, where it goes. That would be nice to see. are now made of the mist that's the way we want to go this is nice so you can walk all along here above the falls I like that crazy rapids Beautiful area. Yeah, I 
I got the helicopter. Wow, the water gets really powerful right there. Oh, there's the Canadian side. It's always such a beautiful view looking at all the hotels. So we're right at the edge of the falls. I'm going to show you the view, but I'm just going to have music playing because it's so windy. Okay? to the observation area there to see what it looks like from up there and I think that will be it for today somebody's selling some jewelry here So where do you go if you want to go to that deck right here? Oh, okay, I think so. Observation deck, and then tells you about the different birds you can see around. Okay, let's go have a look. Well, who's this person here doing a dance? You too. <laughs> oh, you need tickets. Entrance to Made of the Mist and Observation deck tickets for the boat and then oh there's the boat price is 25 an adult and 14.75 a child it's a dollar 25 to go to the observation deck okay so i just got my ticket for the observation deck it's a dollar 25 it looks like crazy a postcard, how cute. I'm excited. you can go made of the mist and lower gorge and entrance to observation deck which is where we are perfect view beautiful got niagara 
City Cruise is going by. Let's go a little further down here. Oh, it looks really far down there. It's scary. And then there's people coming back up and going down for the made of the mist ride so there's an elevator but you can also walk down and walk up I see a nice view of the rainbow bridge oh I can't even I can't look down it's horrible for me Oh my gosh. I'll try to show you with the camera. Panning down. Yay, yay, yay. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, we're so high. Yikes. Okay, let's go through here. This is a lot for me being up this high. You don't think about it till you come right out here. Okay, here we go. Well, it's busy on this side. Wow, but the views, the views are lovely. Amazing. There's a postcard picture right there. Uh, little people getting ready to go on the boat. You can see the boat right there. They're all getting on. <laughs> I see a man say, oh, he's like me. It's like it's making me nauseous looking. See, I'm not the only one. Do not throw objects. Pedestrians below. Oh my goodness. We're like right over the river just about right now. Ugh. Can't look. I can look across. I don't have a problem with that. It's just the looking right down is a big issue for me. Just stay though. over here if we can Alina squeeze Zane. in somewhere. Huh? Well you can see wow okay this is a nice oh, <laughs> this is a nice view beautiful right at the bottom of the falls gorgeous okay so like I told you it's a dollar twenty five to come to the observation boat not too bad. And you get to see this view, which is amazing. Okay, well, I think that's going to do it for today's walk. I hope everybody enjoyed it. Um, it was a new experience for me, and I really had a good time. Thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. Bye for now.
We're, one more thing before we go. We're back on the Canadian side now in Niagara Falls. And I just wanted to tell you about my crossing the border experience. So crossing over, it costs $1 to walk across, which is really reasonable. And there wasn't any issues going to the American side. It was very fast and easy, as long as you have your passport. And then coming back across was the same thing, very easy. And uh, you just, you have to show your passport and then you have to have the Arrive Can app. And yeah, it went smoothly. So as long as you have that, it's easy coming across. Okay, so I had a good time. That's all I wanted to tell you. See you next time. Bye for now.